you doing, sir? Phil, I'm good, hey, 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 I'm a great man. Yeah, good. You're pretty good with that. that it did, die. Yeah. It was pretty exciting, and some of it was very stunning. Obviously, Caledonia is a beautiful song yeah. that really gets you, but Brian Cox's speech, oh, I mean, he said what needed to be said. He took yeah. you through the whole history of how we got here politically, the frustrations, the disappointments, the Thatcher years, the Blair years, and he just really made you believe in it. So but if Brian Cox can't make you believe in it, That's true. who can? Now tell me, what independence would, would mean to you, you know, what independence got and what would it what would it give you in your life or in your workplace? Well, at a basic level, it would just be a better democracy. Yeah. Because in Scotland, we've been used to voting for uh, one thing and getting another. So the Tories, Scotland has made clear, aren't wanted here. And yet we keep having to undergo Tory rule. Even the Labour Party, who many Scots felt a natural affinity with, remodelled themselves under Tony Blair to appeal to wealthy voters in the south of England. So Scotland was disenfranchised and we would get the government that we want, we'd get the kind of country that we want, we uh, would be closer to that government because in a country of five million people, you yeah. can keep more of an eye on that government. Hi, hi, Alec. How are you doing? Well, but, <laughs> maybe not that far, but at the same time, yeah. I think they'll be they'll be more accountable to the people. In Scotland and the rest of the UK are diverging politically, and I think this is our chance to actually, yeah, make the sort of country that we want to live in. Finally. Well, I guess today's about getting everyone behind the Yes campaign and actually, you know, out there with the communities and get the communities involved. Now, I know that you write a lot here in Scotland. Do you get a chance to go out to the community and perhaps read some of your novels to them, or do you ever get that chance to speak to them directly about what they want, what they need, and does it affect you? Or well, I do a lot of readings. Yeah. Uh, I do a lot of readings in schools. Yeah. Now, I'm not there to talk about politics, but you can sneak that stuff in under the radar. Yeah. And apart from anything else, I think it's really important for young people to see their country being represented in fiction and literature, to hear their own accent and dialect being used creatively. Because when I was growing up, like most people, you absorb American popular culture. And so you think of the Scottish language as, well, it's fine in the Bruins and Urwali, or in ancient poems. But you're told, well, that's the language of the gutter. It's, it's not a proper language. English is a proper language. And what Scottish writers have been doing over the last 20 years is completely disproven that uh, the Scottish language isn't something that can be used creatively with force, with power. Writers like Irvin Welsh, James Kelman, Liz Lockhead, who was on today, uh, Alan Warner, Janice Galloway. Scotland has a deep, rich literary tradition, which is rooted in the cultures and the communities that people grew up in. And that's what I try and show whenever I do talks in schools. That this life that you lead and that language you talk is yours. Make something powerful out of it. And I guess with independence, young children will have a bigger voice as well, won't they? Absolutely. They can stand up for the rights and, and everything yeah. goes with it. Before you go, Alan, tell us why will you be voting yes for independent Scotland when it comes to the referendum? Well, I'll be voting yes for independent Scotland because I think it's right that we make decisions about our future, that we can control our economy, our culture, and that we have a greater say in how our country is run. Thank you very much for joining us. No problem, bye. Okay, See, See you later. Bye.